Welcome to a very soggy Bangkok and welcome to the only market that is in this city that has its own castle. Welcome to George Fez. We've actually been meaning to come to this market for a long time, mostly because it has a castle, so we're here. The market looks very well organized and very calm, which I really appreciate from the market. Everything's in nice, orderly lines. It looks very organized. I think I'm gonna get on with this market. Second squish. What do you think of the, the castle? So good. So good. So it's good. like not really a real castle. It's not like a real castle. What's a real castle like? Pretty. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, it's true. It's not a very pretty castle. No. It's true. It has green lights. What more would you want? One of the many things that we love about Bangkok is the abundance of night markets. We actually haven't been to that many of them, to be honest with you. This one is not too far from another one we've been to, which is Chattachak Market. You can check out that vlog here at the top. So yeah, there are probably, I would say, in the hundreds of night markets to choose so from. Many. It's, it's overwhelming when you look into it, but just see how it goes. Embrace it. This one looks nice, check it out. Do us the honor of having some insects again. Again, just for the vlog. Again, this is like Adam's third or fourth time. That he I, you know what? Hang on, hang on. I need to turn this. Of course, we forgot to bring cash, so <laughs> Adam's gone to the ATM. But also, right now, there's like a rain cloud, a massive rain cloud, looking like it's coming this way. So I don't know if we're gonna make it, guys. I really don't know. I hope so, but it's looking bad. Look. <laughs> Cat paw. A cat paw. <laughs> They're so weird. Funny looking things. <laughs> so there's this like cat face ice cream. You had it before though, didn't you? Yeah. Malia, which one did you have? Do you remember? The strawberry one. The strawberry one, yeah. They're so funky. What have you done? Okay, so... You've just delayed us. Don't worry, I've explained already. Yeah, Everybody explained. knows. Fine. Everyone knows. Everyone knows what? You are Everyone part of this how, as well. How we've useless been, you are. We've been in Thailand for so Weird. long. We've been in Thailand long enough now that you would think we know when you come to a market, bring cash. But apparently we didn't. We knew we needed it and we didn't bring it. Look at... The end of the world is coming, so we need it's to go and grab fine. some bits quickly. It's not even gonna rain. Quickly. Uh, a no to the face cat ice cream, because we've already done it. I may have told her that she could have one. Are you serious? But after food. Food first, let's get yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. size of this dish it has but to be. comparison that's mine it's right there that's mine do you want to see if you can order it yeah yeah you can. is it really this size it's this big it looks like it's the end of the world out there that's fine we're in the dry hopefully so yeah everyone's now running to restaurants <laughs> sometimes it really looks like it's gonna rain and you're no, convinced it's coming. it's gonna there's chaos, I can, I can sense it. Yeah, we're in a restaurant where it looks like their specialty is basically doing giant buckets of food and giant <laughs> plates of food. I'm excited because I like food. I like giant food. <laughs> Malia is eating Thailand's most traditional dish. Absolutely. It's called? It's called garlic bread. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. 
but it's too hot for her to eat right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're keeping it simple when we go to markets with her, aren't we, usually? She likes a clear soup. As okay. Well. Tofu, and she likes tofu. Noodles, and Not flavored. Good stuff. <laughs> She's a simple child. Yeah, yeah. You know, she likes to keep costs down. That's yeah, why. sure. <laughs> so Adam's absolute monster dish arrived. It's almost anyway, like a, it's almost like a, one of those eating challenges. You know. I don't think that the comparison versus Adam's body does it much justice. Can we switch? Practically the width of my shoulders. <laughs> okay, you guys have to come here to uh, Kung and Gang yeah. and get this absolute monster of a dish. I'm waiting for mine. I don't know. Is mine gonna be this big? No. Let's see. Are the I prawns so. gonna be this big? Yeah, Probably not. Good. I'll get like three prawns. All right, let's go. And here is mine. Mine is more of a normal size, but I would still say that it's quite big, right? It's a good size. Yeah, yeah that's a good portion. So, here we go. Seafood and uh, fried rice. Apparently it's a thing here, one of the reasons they put these cloths on the table is they come out with a big bucket of seafood with sauce and just pour it all over your table. Show them. Over there. I mean, cool. I prefer my food from a plate, mm. but <laughs> you want to eat off the table? Go for it. Have you upset the rain gods? Yeah, it's raining. We're um, to wait it out. So we're gonna wait it out. Hopefully, hopefully it's gonna stop in the next five minutes or so. Oh, seven o'clock, so we have time. I know. We still have lots more to see, so sure. fingers crossed. Now the rain stopped, so it's time for ice cream. How much did we just pay for that ridiculous ice cream? <laughs> this is the most overpriced ice cream, but you know. It's cool it has though. A cat you have on to it. say, it's very unique. A cat's face. It's $4.50. 160 baht. Yeah. 160 baht. $4.50. Kids love it. Parents don't. <laughs> At least they're hustling. This is a very unique concept. This is a very unique concept. Take it to another country. You know, I found it. Found it. I didn't really know what I was looking for. This is what I was looking for. Okay, so we're at Brown and Roll, and it's a family run business. So here are the owners. Name <laughs> Brown Okay. On Instagram. On okay. Instagram. Okay, okay so look them up on Instagram. We will. Good? Very good. Malia can tell us how it is. How is it, Malia? Good. So this is the caramel and the macadamia. macadamia. Good? Mm -hmm. This one. What is it? Dark chocolate brownie. Uh -huh. I'm not sure you're going to like that one. Maybe a bit too strong. I like it. No? Yeah? She just won't go to bed tonight. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm yeah. done. How bad is it to have dessert after dessert? By the way, I ate that whole dish. Yeah. The giant plate of food. So we actually recommend I'm quite it. full now. Uh, we're going to do a quick zigzag, see if there's anything else interesting. Yeah. And then let's uh, yeah. get out of here. Yeah, let's go. See those giant strawberries back there with gold paint on them? On the left? No, on the other side. No, they were like, really? like this big and they had a little gold tip. Gold plated it seemed a bit unnecessary to be honest. Shall we try them? No. So when we were on, uh, in Chinatown, we'll link that vlog as well, as well. Toast, yeah. they call it toast. It's basically a bread roll, toasted and stuffed with whatever. 
And we've just seen it here. Now we have to compare because we were told that is that that other one was the best toast in Bangkok. Now we have to compare. What's the name of the business? <laughs> Fat Toast. Fat Toast. Fat Toast. Fat Toast. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah, right. that's him. Oh, that is him. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Fat Toast. <laughs> so, this one is fresh lime. Yes, and you can try Thai tea. And Thai tea. Yeah. Wow, we're getting spoiled now. <laughs> okay, now it just became a sponsored video. <laughs> A child is buying a drink over there. Yeah, she's hustling over there. <laughs> Malia, can you tell everybody what is that drink in your hand? Uh, me and Mommy know it and it's so delicious. We fell in love with this drink, didn't we? Uh -huh. Chocolate and strawberry. strawberry. If we remember rightly, these make an absolute mess, don't they? Yeah. Mm. She just took a bite. Did she just take all the chocolate? No, no, no. I, just a bite. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Give us a Strawberry review. jam. Ready. Tell me. These ones are a lot more neat. Okay. You know, the ones we got in China, it's like, pull up, pull up, yeah, like, slapped yeah, yeah. in. And they went everywhere. Bite it, they just went everywhere. Well, They're warm, crisp,y they don't make too much mess. I haven't dribbled anything down myself yet. So the review is? Very nice, yeah, really nice. good. Mine is 10 out of 10. Wow, 10 out of 10. Little bite. Before we close, I've been challenged to take a shot. Let's go. It's been, it's been like 10 years since I shot basketball. So let's see. He's gonna throw it over. Oh. Let's go again. Oh. Rubbish. And if you want to party, you can find it here too. Woo! On that note, the taxi is now coming. We have reached the end of our time here at Jod Fairs Market, haven't we? Yeah. And we've had an awesome day. Definitely recommended to come to Jod Fair. What do you think of this market, Malia? What? <laughs> really, really cool market. Definitely recommended. Not too hectic. Good for kids. Good for grown-ups. Really well put together. Yeah. It's nice to support small businesses. Absolutely. So there's a lot of noise going on. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And if you are not already subscribed to our channel, why not? Please join our join community. Us. Help us grow our channel. And we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.